ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the top five with Will Farrow. It's me. And today, this is going to be epic because I am coming, I'm coming in hot and strong, y'all. I'm coming in hot and strong. I don't care what nobody says, what nobody thinks. This is, I'm finally saying it for everybody to know. This is my top five best live action Batmans. I don't want to hear no smoke. I don't care what you think. This is this is my decision. If you don't like it, just remember you click my face. Just remember that. You saw my face and you saw the Batman symbol. You knew what it was when you clicked on this. So I don't want to hear anything, okay? I'm just giving my God honest opinion about my top five. And so I'm not, I'm not going to waste any more time and I'm ready to get into it. So my first top Five of the Batmans. Number five, Val Kimmer. Val Kimmer is my number five pick for best Batmans. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's quite obvious why I picked Val Kimmer as number five, isn't it? Val Kimmer, here's the thing. It's not a lot that you had to do in this Batman. Batman. This Batman had all the establishments ready. All the establishments ready, okay? He had Riddler. He had Two-Face. It was the first time Robin was finna come through. You know what I'm saying? And all of that talent still masked everything Batman did. You know how bad Val Kimmer is at Batman? I don't even remember how Batman Forever ends. That's how bad Batman was. That's how bad of a Batman he was. Now, though he had the jawline, what I didn't like, he had loose lips. I didn't like that he had loose lips with his mask on. Here's the thing. You, you, I don't, I'm, I'm very... I'm very, very judgmental when it comes to mask wearing and how your face is. See, this is what I didn't like about Val Kimber. You had this. This, this was Val Kimber. Where is Riddler? Where is Riddler? It looked like every it looked like every time he was about to talk, it was like he was trying to pose for a magazine. It was like Batman. Who just said my name? Who just said it? Horrible, horrible bat. And look, horrible Batmobile. Just horrible Batmobile. Like at first we thought it looked real great, but let's just be honest. That Batmobile looked like a USB. It looks like a 56 megabyte USB that you get from Micro Center or Fry's for $17. And that's what it looked like. They were just somebody had that in they in their computer, and they was like, "This this make a devil, you know what? Let me throw some wheels right here, a little couple fins. Well, all right, looks like we got something here. Horrible, 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 horrible. Okay." And that and that's just me being honest about this, okay? I don't and again, I don't want to hear nothing about it. But in the comments, don't but don't come for me because this is my opinion. Do what you want. But I'm gonna jump into the next person. Number four on my list. Christian Bale. Or like I like to call him Christian Ballet. Good old Christian Ballet is number four on my list. And I bet you everybody's just like, what, number four? How? How? Number four? Yes. Why? Number four, most unbelievable Batman yet. All right? I'm going to just get this out of there. Get it out the way, man. I don't like that he's five foot four trying to be scary. All right? I can't get I can't get down with, with Batman right here to my chest. Just where is he? Like, look, this is just like just just picture these head. You can't see it because they black. Because I got on a black shirt. That was not a good thing. But like right here, this is his horns. On my fingertips, said, 
Where is he? Where is Bay? Like, nigga, I don't know. Do you know where a fucking breath mint is? Like, nigga, I can feel your hot breath on my chest hairs. Like, it's through my shirt and my undershirt on my chest hairs. They curling up because of your hot breath. Secondly, just the voice. Somebody must know where he is. Tell me the truth. That that was that was your Batman. That was the, that was that guy right there. That was that dude doing that. Now soup soup was dope. Soup was very realistic. Okay, very realistic. I love the tactical about it and stuff like that. Even his villains. His villains is what carried the story. Like Joker. Joker is what made the movie. Like I don't go to see the Dark Knight to go see Batman. I go to Dark Knight to go see Joker. They be like, yo, let's watch the Dark Knight. Nah, man, let's watch the, the, the Dark Joker. That's what we watching. I don't need that nigga on it. This, I feel like this is like, a Dark Knight is like a Legend of Zelda game. And the Joker is Link. It's about him. But Batman getting the credit. The Dark Knight is, that's what the Dark Knight was. Legend of Zelda. Joker is Link. Y'all already know what it is. Don't act, don't act like I'm saying something wrong. You know why you go there. So you think Gotham, Batman has made Gotham a better place? Look at me. Look at me! You see, this is how crazy Batman has made Gotham. If you want order and not chaos, then Batman must take off his mask. Oh, and for every time he doesn't, for every day that he doesn't, people will die. Starting tonight. I'm a man of my word. <laughs> Just, that's what you went to go see. That's what you went to go see. You didn't get, you didn't go see, oh, I think they will put the tables together. I own the place. But to be fair, very good Bruce Wayne. I will say that. Dope Bruce Wayne. I'll give I will give him that. I won't completely shit on Christian Bale, but very much so. Did have a great uh, Bruce Wayne. So I'll give him that. But that's that's not enough for you to make to the top of this top five. And that's why he's number four. So I just know like y'all all y'all are shivering to know just like if he's number four, well, who the hell is number three? Who is number three? And I'm going to tell you who number three is. Number three, George Clooney. Mr. Batman and Robin himself, the heartthrob. Mr. George R. Clooney. Now, why did I pick George Clooney? Because out of all the Batmans, even though it's a funny Batman, it's still one of the hardest Batmans, okay? Here's the thing. Christopher Nolan elevated not only the Batman game, but pretty much the whole superhero live action game. Like, we, we gonna keep it 100. We know he did, okay? Elevated everything, made things realistic. We had to throw politics. We had to throw science. We had to throw mechanics into realistic and realism into fictional guy characters because of your boy Chris Nolan and Batman. But before we had that, though, Batman was satire. For most folks that don't even know that, Batman wasn't even a serious character till the 1980s when he got a reboot. Before then, the Adam West stuff, the Kapow, the Splat, the Oopsies. He was a novel, a novice character. He was funny. He was a, meant to be funny. That's why the whole Batman and Robin slap is funny. Zoinks, all of that stuff. Just because of the simple fact that that's what he was. And so that, along with the new reinvention of Batman when it gets a little bit darker, they kind of mash those two together a little bit with the George Clooney Batman. Come on, we got, we got Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze. The most horrible train wreck in human history. It was like, you did better having Hulk Hogan as Mr. Freeze. I take that back. You should have made Arnold Schwarzenegger and Hulk Hogan play as Mr. Freeze. 
That would have been hilarious. Just letting you know. That would have been hilarious. Poison Ivy, Uma Thurman. Um, Never looked at Uma Thurman like that. Uh, thought she was okay in Pulp Fiction, but Poison Ivy, I was like, I might let you give me a, 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 a PTD, poisonous transmitted disease. I might, I'm, I might, I might step out for a PTD. I ain't just, just, just a thought. Not saying I do it. Just it was a thought. Like if she was right there, like when she first came out, like when they when she was, they was like she was dead, and then she popped out before she got dressed and had them uh two. Very narrow titties on the top of her head as a hairdo. I ain't know what that was. I was like, I don't know if you're going for titties or you a Siamese unicorn or if, you know, this is charging for the bulls. I ain't judging you, but I, I like you when you first came out. Like, I'll look at you then and be like, I put a condom on, but yeah, like if you down, I'm down. Yeah, but of course, with all of that, that George Clooney was a great Bruce Wayne, real suave. He had bitches. And I ain't even talking about ladies. I'm talking about bitches. Like that was George Clooney. George Clooney was flocking them out. Like that was the Batman you saw. You was like, George, Bruce Wayne be getting bitches. It wasn't money. You can tell it wasn't money. Like with, with Christian Bale, you can tell because he had money and status. That's how he was pulling these girls. George Clooney was pulling it off a of dick and conversation. George Clooney wasn't buying nobody nothing. George Clooney was out here just finessing them with the silver tongue, a Lambo, and then straight back to the manor for that good old raw bat action. And then sent her on her way. Not even him. Alfred sent her on her way. That's how I saw George Clooney as Bruce Wayne. That's why I, I enjoyed it. I was like, man, this is a dope Bruce Wayne. But of course, there were always the negatives that come along with this, y'all. It was a lot of it. It was a lot of it. Nipples on the suit. Nipples on the hot dang suit. That wasn't George Clooney's fault. But George Clooney has to wear that bullshit as a badge for the rest of his days. That's why he ain't been in no more superhero movies. They know. He don't, he don't want to face that again. You, you don't come back from backlash like that. You don't, you, don't, you don't come back from backlash like that. Like the nipples and the Batman credit card. First of all, who gave Batman credit? What is Batman's social security number? Can anybody explain that? What is Batman's social security number for him to just get credit? Secondly, what is his credit score? Because I would think this man's credit has to be terrible with all the destruction that he's causing. Got to be. It got to be. This man got to be flat. Batman got to be flat broke. Like, y'all, people don't think about all the stuff these heroes destroy. Imagine if they knew who you were and tallied that up. Be like, yeah, so you destroyed, like, a third of Gotham last night chasing the Joker. And that's, like, $18 million in damages. So do you want us to invoice you or you want to handle that by PayPal, Cash App? Um, what's your choice? It's up to you. Like, I appreciate you, like, saving all them kids out that fire, but hey, that's a lot. I'm just saying, you y'all cause a lot of damage. But that is why my boy George Clooney gets the third spot. No disrespect to my boy George, but I just couldn't ignore nipples and a Batman credit card. What's even on there? Like, what does Batman buy? Like, what... Hey, what this probably got some old nasty shit. This nigga got like battering dildos on there and stuff. This nigga got like a, a ultimate porn hub subscription. This nigga just be watching freaky ass shit. This nigga just be building out characters to fuck on porn hub. Like, nigga, just stop being gross. But we're gonna go ahead and get into the number two Batman. And at first, this person. Couldn't be on here until now. 
my boy, Kevin Conroy. If you know who Kevin Conroy is, then you gonna put you gonna put some respect on the name. You ain't even gonna act like that. You're not gonna act like that. I know that. You're not gonna act like he don't deserve this number two spot. Don't act like it. The voice of Batman. The voice of Batman. So much, I can't even do that voice. I don't even want to attempt to try that voice. My man, Kevin Conroy, who recently stepped in front of the camera as Batman, the, bro the broken Bruce Wayne with the, with the back brace, the whole suit on and stuff like that. This man can't even jack off in the bathroom no more because he got a whole ectoskeleton now, which I'm sure is the furthest thing from his mind. But I'm just saying, like, you know, Time time comes and stuff like that. But yeah, man, the Batman animated series. Um, all of the Batman movies. Like this man has been the voice behind the cartoon Dark Knight for since 1992 to now. And again, he got a chance to step in front and play Batman. So now he can be put on this list because he's been Batman. Why? Because he has held it down between Batman movies, between them being rebooted, between them being recast, the whole shebang. Kevin Conroy has kept it consistent with the voice of Batman. Ain't we don't want no different Batman? Like they need to get Kevin Conroy to say every word in the dictionary and then make a whole log of it. So when he does decide to leave us and go on his next adventure. We got his voice. It's like, yo, we're going to keep making him Batman. I promise you. We're going to keep making my boy Batman. So that was my number two pick. And so I know y'all just dying to know. Well, Will, what the hell? Who the hell is number one? If you say Adam West, I'm out. If you throw out Adam West, I'm out this bitch. But no, my number one is Ben Affleck and Michael motherfucking Keaton. That's right. I even had to cuss on Michael Keaton's name because I got to put respect on it. That's right. I said it. I said it and I say it with pride. Okay. They are sharing the number one spot. Ben Affleck, Michael Keaton. Why? Because Michael Keaton is the OG. He's the godfather. He started everything. He started the Cape Crusade. Much respect to Adam West, but we don't man. That's that's our that's our grandparents' Batman. We don't we don't we don't we don't know him like that. Rest in peace though. But that's our grandparents' Batman. Zoinks. That's what they like. This this our Batman. This is the one that saw it at all. He the one that had that dude during the protest walk out. And we was like, my nigga, he here. Adam West don't do that. Adam West can't get you to do that. Only Michael Keaton's Batman can get you to do that. Okay? And that's why he shares this number one spot. Because Ben Affleck, in my opinion, is the most realistic Batman that we've had. Did y'all see him in Batman versus Superman? When that motherfucker was on that corner just, just hanging like a bat? You would have shit yourself. You would have shit. You, like, first of all, you wouldn't have even, if you've seen the movie, this man, the cop that saw him finally when he turned around was letting off rounds with a shotgun and Batman, of course, just got away. Six foot four dude just, just, just parkoured off the ceiling and went through the hole and this dude, trained cop, missed all them shots. Regular folks wouldn't have got nothing shot off. They'd have shit themselves. And maybe shot once at the floor. I'm just letting y'all know how it went down when, when I was in the situation. I'm just letting you know it wasn't Batman, but, you know, it was it was definitely a very dark figure. Um, and that's how it went down. But, yeah, man, was, was, was smart, was brutal, was kicking ass. Like, people were scared of this Batman. This Batman made you not want to commit crimes. Be like, yo, man, sell me, sell me an eighth. Not tonight. Fuck no. I no. You know who out there? You see that signal out? I ain't coming outside. I think I'm finna watch Felicity and smoke your eighth. You can come get this tomorrow. 
Nah, man, I ain't going outside. Hell no. Nah. Hell to the no, nah, man. Batman out there. Fuck that. Nigga, signal out and shit. They look at me. He probably looking for some. Might be looking for me. Let me say my eye, man. I got to stay in the house tonight, bro. I got to stay in the house tonight, man. I can't do it. I can't do it. That's how That's how them criminals in Gotham be like. When Batman, when Ben Affleck Batman is around, he like, yo, man, I can, man, yo, bro, I can't do this. I'm staying in the house tonight, man. Look, I already got two priors. All right, you know what I'm saying? I already ran in that motherfucker once, man. That nigga bent my whole two fingers back. I ain't even know my fingers could. My fingers was touching my wrist. This pinky right here was touching here. I don't even know how you could physically do that. But Batman did it, man. I ain't going out there, bro. That's what Ben Affleck's Batman did. Even when he was Bruce Wayne, he was in the trenches. He was like, yo, I'm a, I'm I'm that I'm that he was fed up. He was old. He done been through shit. He done lost Robins. He done probably lost a couple Robins. Cause if it's the Robin you think it is, which is most likely gonna be Jason Tide in that version of the cinematic universe for uh DC, he done went through a lot of bat a lot of Robins. Alfred old, he probably smoking weed now and drinking while he be in the bat cave, helping him out and stuff like that. That's why he be so sarcastic. And stuff, he'd be like, well, maybe you can find you a woman to fall in love with while you're there. <laughs> Unlikely. Alfred don't give a shit no more. That's why he is the best. That's why he's the best. And he beat up Superman. No matter what none of y'all say, no matter what none of you say, you can't tell me any of the Batmans in this list could give Superman the hand. You couldn't realistically see George Clooney with his nipples just fighting Superman. It's a wrap. Val Kimmer just popping up at the top of a building just, I have to stop you. Michael Keaton, Michael Keaton wouldn't, would not have these problems. Michael Keaton would have been like, listen, I'm in Gotham, all right? Look, I ain't got time for that. That nigga said, aliens, I'm about to go get happy. <laughs> That's what happened. If Michael Keaton's Batman saw that, it's like, I'm about to, I give up. I'm about to go find me someone to be happy. I'm rich. I ain't got to take this. I ain't got to deal with this. We got aliens. What you want me to do? What you want me to do? I was, I had to fight a dude in clown makeup. So I'm just saying, you know, Either way, though, that is my top five Batmans. I'm sure a lot of y'all are angry. I'm sure a lot of y'all are pissed. A lot of y'all got something to say. It is what it is. Put it in the comments. Tell me how you feel. Let yourself out. But it don't really matter because I drop facts and you know it. And you know it. And you know it. So... But make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. You subscribe to my Twitch channel. Make sure that you check out my music, Blueberries of Lemonade, on Spotify, on Tidal, and on Apple Music. And we will catch you next time. Now, for those that are watching on Twitch right now, of course, you know, this is me just recording the show. So you will hear me do things like that quite often because y'all are enjoying being on my Twitch. So these are the things that y'all will get to see. Uh, more often than not. So, um, we've been on here for about three hours and 31 minutes. Um...